Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In my ongoing effort to experiment on this channel, I thought it might be time to bring a more physical, I guess, um, video to you. Now, this video, as you can see by the title, I want to share with you my small but ever-growing collection of playing cards. Now, I am wearing gloves. Uh, you don't need to uh, for collections like these. This is just for my benefit because I have a uh, autoimmune disease called vitiligo or vitiligo. I'm not entirely sure, but basically it makes my skin all patchy and I'm still trying to uh, get over that. So anyways, we're going to start up here. These are the packets that I don't have opened yet. This one there is a bit of an exception to and we'll get to that in just a moment. But this is the Bicycle Vintage Classic. Now, I have two packets of this uh, deck. This was the replacement package that I haven't opened yet, so we'll take a closer look in just a second. But I, uh, I had to replace this deck because the card box had some damage to it. Um, I don't know if it was water damage or what exactly happened, but either way, this was a replacement deck. And this over here, this over here is the original deck, so we can get a better look at the cards, which we can't do, unfortunately, for some of these others over here that uh, are not opened yet. So, this is the Seven of Hearts. That's what the hearts look like. This is the Spades. We have the Diamonds. And finally, the Clubs. Now, my favorite card in any deck of cards, if I am able to find it, it may not be in here. And it doesn't... Oh, I am... I am blind right here. My favorite card in any deck of cards is the Ace of Spades. In fact, I have such a likeness, I guess. I don't really know um, how to say it, but I like the Ace of Spades so much. It was um, some of my original usernames in old video games or on the Wii. Um, anywhere I was on the internet, my name was Ace for a very long time before I changed it. So, and just to get a better look at the back of the card here, this is the Bicycle Vintage Classic. Now, I don't think that a lot of these decks, I don't think any of them are specifically, like, um, very rare. But the next one, and this, again, this is on the unopened stack over there. This is the Bicycle Fireflies. And this is part of a series, as I understand it. And I have the other two over there as well that we'll take a look at. But the back of the card design here, lots of greens and golds. It's a very pretty deck, and I need to get, um, like with a lot of my decks, I need to start buying a second copy of the deck so that I have one I can use and then one that's just for storage. So, once again, this is the Fireflies deck by Bicycle. And then finally, 
in the unopened section, we have the Bicycle Stargazer playing cards. Now this one, for a very, very long time, this was one of my favorite decks ever, so I just had to get my hands on it. And I know for a fact that this one is not particularly rare. I think you can still find this everywhere, in hobby shops, in Targets, in Walmarts, but I've always loved the sort of figure eight black hole on the back deck here. And of course I don't have a, um, I don't have a second copy of the deck to open and look at, but I also really like the, in the center of the spade, there's that little, um, compass look. So I'm a big fan of this deck and I'm hoping to go and get a second deck of those at some point. Now, let me just adjust these and get them out of the way. So, you may be wondering, of course, why I started collecting playing cards. And the simple fact of the matter is, uh, if you've ever watched a channel on YouTube, uh, his name is Jojo ASMR. Uh, one of my earliest interactions with ASMR was actually his uh, card magic videos. And ever since, um, I've just always loved playing cards. I don't know what it is. I love cards of all kinds. Um, in a future video, maybe I'll show you some of my other collections, but uh, this, as I think, now don't quote me on this because I could have this entirely wrong, but I think this is the third in the series with the Stargazer and the Fireflies. This is the Aurora deck from Bicycle. This one I have opened. It's a very, very pretty deck as well. So we can take a closer look at these. So starting with the back design here, let me bring that up for you. There's a lot of gold and a lot of silver. Some very neat patterns in there. And I don't think, and of course this is, Every deck of cards has one of these. I don't know exactly what it what it is. I think it, it's just a full print or something that has the back on both sides. Some people use these for magic tricks, but I never figured that out, unfortunately. So this is a very interesting deck because it's got these borders, as you can see. So the blacks are or no, it's the uh, clubs and hearts. Oh no, I'm I'm actually I haven't used this in a while. Excuse me. It's the uh, number cards that are silver and the face cards that are gold. So we're gonna go through. We have the clubs. We have hearts. We have. spades and this is a face card so it looks a little bit different very very cool card there i think i i haven't opened these cards in a very long time but that's a very cool king i didn't realize that uh that it was that nice um, so we've done clubs hearts spades let's find ourselves a diamond that right there is the Jack of Diamonds. So, I also want to take a quick look. My favorite card, once again, the Ace of Spades. This one, I'm not super into. It's kind of boring, I will admit. The face cards look much cooler than just the uh, single spade there in the center. And then the Joker also looks pretty cool. This is the black Joker, and I think there is also a red Joker in this deck. Um, some decks, 
me. Yes, there it is. So there's a red joker. But some decks um, keep their jokers the same. Some decks do um, some crazy nonsense with them. But we will tuck these away and set them aside. Up next, this one I got very early on. It is the Archangels deck. Um, and this one has been used quite a bit, as you can see by the uh, corners there and then down here as well. Again, I, um, I need to do a better job of getting more than one deck uh, as a collector. So, I believe this is actually um, a collaboration with... Let me see if I can find it here. I think it's a collaboration with David Spade. Oh no, it's Theory 11, not David Spade. David Spade has a different deck. He has a couple actually, but this is a Theory 11. So they're uh, another card company or something. I don't know exactly what they are to be fair. So. We have both Jokers here, right at the front. We have, see this one, the uh, printing is much larger than the other one, and the, the number cards aren't anything special, but the back design is where it's really, um, this is the thing you come for, basically, is just the back, and I think I don't think I have another Theory 11 deck, but I think they have a pretty um, consistent track record with making their uh, typeface like this quite large. But anyways, so let me get another look at the back design here. Uh, some I've always sort of thought of this uh, bit right here up at the top. As sort of a butterfly at least that's what it looks like to me and then uh, there's kind of a bird on top of that at least that's what it looks like in my opinion but of course that may be different for you so moving on the spades diamonds hearts and clubs look at that that went quite well uh, and of course, face cards. Nothing special there, but what can you do? The ace on the Archangels deck is actually really cool. I do like this ace quite a lot. So, it's not my favorite ace. We'll get to that. Um, actually, that is coming up uh, quite quickly, I think, if I remember correctly, but we'll see. So... Up next, Bicycle Amplified. Let me see, is this a Theory 11? It isn't, but this one, this one gets kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this one is the first of a couple of decks I have that are designed with a very specific purpose in mind, and that of course is Cardistry which is um, sort of a, how do I describe it? It's sort of like a flashy, um, sleight of hand sort of art style that people do with cards. So that's why there's a lot of um, angled shapes on this design because of, you know, my, my skills are quite bad, but because of how people flourish and the way that they... Um, cut the deck and move it with their hands. Um, it's it's really really cool, and I wish I had the um, uh, the capabilities of doing cardistry, but I never got a hand of it. But what's really cool, and I love cards that do this, is the red. I don't know how well that shows up on screen. But this red is actually more of an orange in person. Oh, whoops. But it is a very, very nice color. I really like this deck. So, once again, we have hearts. We have clubs.
clubs. We have the spades and the diamonds. And then we will go and look for our first joker. And where is it? The ace of spades. This one, I really like this one as well. I love the the orange and the blue. Um, I wish it was a little more stylized, but I can't really complain. So let's take a look and see if we can't find that final choker. This one is just a black and white version of the other one. And in case I didn't show off any face cards yet, there is the King of Clubs. So, if I had the opportunity to design a deck of cards, which I've always wanted to do, um, and maybe if I get, you know, popular enough, I'll have the opportunity to have merch. And if that happens, then... I can guarantee you I will have a deck of cards available, but um, if I could design a deck of cards, excuse me, I would want the colors to be um, purple and a dark gray, not black. But anyways, moving on. This is, I forgot to introduce, this is the ice deck. And this is all over the place, too. That much I do know for sure. I still see these all over the place. They're very cool. They're very cool. You'll see. So. These are the first black um, base card. So the spades are a bluish silver. That's the seven of spades. And the, uh, what used to be the reds are, uh, sort of a deeper blue. So that's the diamonds, the hearts. Where do we have our first club? Right there. Our first joker. The face cards also are pretty cool in this deck. They're sort of like um, an inverted card so that looks really cool and then there's the king let's see there's the ace the ace in this deck is a bit of a letdown but they can't all be winners and then finally let's find our other joker If he's even in here, he may be still in the box. I don't know. There he is, our final Joker. I hope, um, because, you know, I'm still only experimenting, and this is a very janky setup, I hope I haven't uh, bumped the microphone too much. But the table, I know, has moved around a lot. So I hope that hasn't uh, caused any issues for you that may be watching. Up next, and this is the sequel to our friends at the ice deck. This is the fire deck. So we'll crack this open. Now, it's not uh, black like the, um, like the ice deck ice deck is, but I do really like the art style of the Jokers. So they're both right here, right on top of each other. And then the face cards as well are pretty nice, but they aren't, you know, anything too fancy. Not yet. Those are for later. So we have the heart and spades right here. We have the diamonds. And finally, the 
clubs. And if we take a grand old look, we have the Ace of Spades. This one is kind of a letdown, though, I will admit. This one's um, in comparison to the Archangels and the Ice deck. This one's a bit lackluster, in my opinion, but what can you do? So we'll get these tucked away. Now we get to some of my favorite decks and the last of the bicycle decks. So this is the Cobalt uh, Lux. This is a metal, uh, well, I'll just show you. This one's really, really cool. So we have some information cards. Now the faces, right? They're nothing special on this deck. It's This is just the standard bicycle look on the hearts and the clubs and the ace of spades and the diamonds. This is all just, you know, this is just what a bicycle deck looks like. But we turn it over and I'm not sure how well this will actually come across on camera, but if you can kind of see a little reflection going there like that these have a tiny tiny trace of metal in the backs that make them very very shiny at the right angles see like that the i love this deck so much this is one of my favorite decks um despite being you know basically just a regular bicycle deck i adore the way that this looks. So, uh, and I guess I'll show you the chokers just for consistency, even though, um, so it's just a regular joker. It doesn't, uh, I think the other one, yeah, the other one's just colored. I thought it might have the metallic-y sort of uh, shine on it, but it's just a standard bike deck with a little flare for the dramatics, which I love. So, if you're able to find this deck, I absolutely recommend that you go out and get one. Especially, like, look at just the inside of the card box it is incredible. I love this. They also have a, a red version of this deck that, uh, I didn't get at the time. I'm sure it's still out there and I could easily pick it up, but anyways, if I can get this closed. Hang on just a second. What is happening here? There we go. So that is the Cobalt Lux metal finish i don't know exactly um but yeah so now these next two decks aren't bicycle and they are designed entirely for cardistry this is the first one that i got and i made the impeccable mistake of not buying more of this deck some of you who may be more um prevy to cardistry may already know what this deck is i think this is the most expensive deck i have i think i haven't checked in a while but this is the virtuoso um i think this is the yeah fall winter 2017 this is one of the earliest decks i ever got this is the virtuoso fall winter 2017 and this this deck in the heart in the hands of a uh, actual card cardistry professional looks amazing it still looks amazing just by itself um so this is the kings or the king the face cards are crazy cool look at the 
this. This is such a gorgeous deck and the entire thing is designed to be flashed around and moved and all kinds of stuff like that. So hearts, hearts again, the jacks. I love all the angular shapes like over here, the sharp edges, it just looks so cool. We have the ace of hearts. The queen is gorgeous, look at this. The queen of clubs. Another 10, another jack, the ace of clubs. Where is my good friend? The, the queen of diamonds. I love the queens in, the, in this deck, the queens are great. Uh, where is, there it is, this. Right here, this is my favorite ace that I have in the Virtuoso deck. You know, green has never been my favorite color or anything. There is a weird little dot of red there that uh, upsets me a bit, but this deck is absolutely gorgeous. But I lost my train of thought there. Uh, Queen of Spades, right there. Uh, I don't know if I saw the Queen of Hearts. There it is. So, this deck is amazing. I wish I had a second one. Um, when I got this back in the day, uh, I had the opportunity to get a, a whole box of 12 packs for like... I don't remember what it was, like 30 bucks. And now I think you have to spend like 30 bucks or more just on a single deck of these cards. So, you know, hindsight is 2020, as they say. But, jeez. Oh, We've uh, had a bit of a misstep here. There we go. So. Moving on to our final deck. It is another Virtuoso deck. This is the second deck I have. This is um, I don't remember specifically what this one is called. Um, it's the Perspective series, as you can see right there. Um, I know there was some whole big um, event when these came out, um, but this one is really crazy cool. So the first couple cards, um, if I can find them, I think I may have misplaced some of them, but um, there's an entire sort of design that goes together with these um, cards. I, uh, I didn't know, because there's a red and blue one, too. There's a couple missing. I don't quite know where those went. I'll have to look for those later. I didn't know they were missing. Um, I know, I'm sure I still have them, but I hope I do at least. But, like, the, uh, the, uh, there's a whole, there's a couple more of these that they go together and they make some art. But anyways, um, so these are crazy. Look at this. So every suit in this deck has a different color associated with it. All of these, of course, are black and uh, gray, which is really, really cool. Uh, I know as part of the promotion for this deck when it was coming out, they um, there was an email sent out, and um, they wanted you to guess the color. Oh, there it is. I think there's still um, one or two cards missing from this, but there's the uh, red and blue. Anyways, um, as part of the promotion when these were coming out, they sent out an email 
that said, if you can guess the three colors on the back of the deck, um, you'll win whatever the prize was. I don't remember off the top of my head what it was, uh, but I guessed black, gray, and blue. So I got really close. At least I like to tell myself that I got close to what the, um, the deck eventually looked like, which is just black and white and gray. So I'm delaying a little bit, but we have the diamonds. At least I think these are diamonds. It doesn't really matter. These are the, this is a red card. And I haven't even shuffled this deck. So these are all the reds in order like that. Look at, just look how cool that is. So those are the red. And then here we have the blue. And this is what the tens look like, by the way. So. It's just got an excellent, like, look at how cool that is. That's nuts. Um, and then the face cards aren't actually face cards. So they look more like, they're more uh, circular, again, because it's all part of the, uh, the cardistry aspect. These are ridiculously well-designed. I think I think this is on the more expensive side now too. I haven't checked in a long while, but this deck is absolutely crazy. So, yeah, oh yeah, the fives as well are uh, just V. At least on one side down here, it still says five, but so the yellow king is really really cool. I don't know why the yellows are backwards, but they are. So these are the yellows. They come off a little weird on camera, but like, look at this deck, man. Look at that. Yellow is one of my favorite colors ever. So I'm a real big fan of yellow cards in any design. That's why I have the auroras over there. Um, and then finally, we have the greens. My flourishing skills are horrible. Hang on. Let me try and get these in a way that looks decent. So they all have their own sort of unique shape. These are more square. These are sort of crown shaped. The blues are diamonds and the reds, hang on. The reds are, well, triangle, I guess, sort of YouTube play button shaped. I adore this deck as well. I'm really happy that I have it. But, you know, again, hindsight 2020 being as it is, um, I would have loved to get a second uh, version of this deck. But anyways, I think I'm running out of storage space on my phone here recording this video. So I hope that if you've stuck around, you've enjoyed this little experiment of mine even though it is uh remarkably janky and i hope to improve in the future but if you did enjoy uh as always it has been a pleasure to have you here and i will speak with you again soon goodbye